Welcome to how I made two days in two days Not really, cause I don't know how to start this video Oh, 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 oh. Well, hello there. I'm Raman, and this is how I made two days. Okay, so random day. It's quarantine. I just pick up my guitar for the vibe, and I'm like, let me play something. I played these chords. Of course, it's a different scale right now, but yeah. like mm, this thing is good so these lyrics just came into my mind this is gonna be like a very 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 good bop i was like sure of it from then and there i had like planned everything i wanted to do for the production and everything i was searching for the first voice memo for this song and yeah here it is so yeah so I had this random ass dream about a businessman and he had a one night stand and I don't know what the hell was going on and I was that businessman who couldn't settle or find love and in that dream and I woke up and I was like bro I wanna make that businessman find love and find some some peace but I woke up so I couldn't go back in the dream and I was pissed what should I do about that? Well, I'ma just write a song about it. <laughs> so that was the inspiration to write a song. A song for me, I don't know for others, but once you get an inspiration, you should not stop till the song is completely over, till you complete writing the lyrics and the tune for every little thing, like the bridge, the chorus, the everything. You have to do it when your when your mind is in the flow of writing a song. So lyrics should never be a pain for writing. They should just come like quickly. The best songs are made in the least time. That's that's all I can say. That's and try to make it rhyme basically. <laughs> so the editing software I use is Logic. Let's dive into the project just a bit. Okay, so we're in the project right now and basically this is everything I did in two days. Half of till here is probably the instruments and stuff and all of these blue things are my vocals and the ad libs and stuff. So let's just let's let's dive into everything I did. Okay, so first I added a bass. I was like, I need a kick, I need a bass which is like bouncing and just countering it. Like something which can get you off your feet and like make you like dance, okay? And when I got this, I was like, bro. Like, I was literally like, bro. I just called my brother. I was like, bro, listen to this. And he was like, bro, this thing is amazing. I knew then and there that this was going to be a pop, okay? I was just jamming. I was having fun. I added these claps. Let me just zoom in a bit. Just kept layering stuff. I added guitar. Another thing I wanted to appreciate is the synths. The synths just fill up the song with such a good vibe. Just just listen to the synths alone, okay? Just just listen to them. Whoa! <laughs> Let me show you the drums which I added to this song in the starting, okay? And that goes with the bass. This was the creative thing I did, okay? So this is basically... This is what I call... A trumpet. <laughs> and this is basically... The cool distorted thing which you hear in the song, which which I really like personally. I don't know if anybody likes that. It was like such a cool thing which I added to the song. It just adds such a like a vibe to the song which I really wanted. I'm gonna remove all the effects up for on this one. This is basically my voice. We aren't gonna listen to any more of that. Let me add my effects again. <laughs> oh. I don't know why I played that for you guys, but... Yeah. 
here you go i made that into this <laughs> to break it down now wait, wait wait a second wait a second the break it down now it was basically just me saying break it down now and i just pitched it really low so it became like break it down you know what i'm saying break it down now <laughs> break it down yeah. and i just added the woo again yeah that just continues into the second verse and in the second verse after the second verse ends so basically i add this fill And that was just some playing around with some drum sounds, and I just came up with that fill. Yeah, so. Also, I reverbed the guitar a lot. I added this Valhalla vintage verb, which I really like. I just added a little bit of space and air. Wait, that's that's not the sound. This is called the reverb guitar. It's just amazing, man. I want you guys to appreciate this because this took a lot of efforts by me and by Soham because we recorded like about like endless takes saying I need you and that became this in the end. I need, I need you. We tried our best because we don't have that many people right now it's it's locked down so we just recorded our own voices in like different ways i tried to sing like a girl i tried to sing like a masculine macho <laughs> i tried to sing like i sang in falsetto and what what not and i added some ad libs to this too uh they were like i added a lot of reverb to these Yeah, so that was that. so that people can get some insight on how to make songs, write them and produce them all on your own because I did that and I learned producing and stuff from YouTube in like a year it's pretty easy actually anybody can make their own music and express themselves by means of this kind of art and Two Days is the most streamed song on my uh, Spotify right now and I'm like super happy for it because when something you love making is loved by other people there's no other better feeling than that okay so yeah do what you love and what makes you happy yeah i think that's it i hope you like this video um like subscribe share it with a friend and yeah i'll see you in the next one bye